Right guys, today I'm going to show you the number one Chrome extension that I use to link all my software together in my Amazon Arbitrage FBA business. Best things, it's free. So we're going to go through it, show you how it works and help set up for you. Right guys, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I am an Amazon Arbitrage FBA seller and I've been doing it now for about four years. So I like to think I've learned a thing or two about Amazon and right now I'm on a mission to do a million. So have a look up there, I will drop a link to my one million pound video. So you can see how I'm doing it and I break that down step by step. Now, quite simply, you've probably watched, I don't know, 20 videos on Chrome extensions and they've all talked about the same things like FBA Multitool, Keeper, Helium 10, and they're all really good extensions. But today I'm going to talk about something slightly different and it's the one tool that I use to link everything together. Without even just going into it, I'm just going to show you what it does. And then obviously you can see and we'll actually go through step by step how to set up what to do and how to make it work for your business creating those links. So jump on the computer now. Let's show you how this works. Right, maybe you are in a product that you are selling right now. Maybe there is something going on in your business that you want to review. And let's say, for example, me right now, this product is I'm selling, but maybe I'm not on the buy box. And I want to see what's going on with my repricer. Normally, I'd have to take the product, load up my repricer, search the product, then find the, find the actual load up the product in the repricer, and then see what's going on. But for me, with my tool, I can quite simply do this. Select the ASIN. Right mouse click, search, and then Repricer Express. Once I'm logged in, it's going to take me straight to that product. I can then go into it and actually see what's going on. It's just going to load me up into the right page at the right time. So another example might be that you are doing some reverse searching. You are looking at someone else's products. What are they doing? And you come down and you find the product that you might be interested in. So normally you'd right mouse click, search that on Google, which is what we'd normally do. But for me, I don't, I use my simple select and search and I search another Google, but with some custom extras in there. I add into the search query by default, the letters dollar or one pound sign to 100. That means it's gonna find the results, which are gonna get me all the pricing between those two numbers. It just filters out the results a bit better. Number two, you might come down and have a look and find the product that you're after and say, actually, is this the product that I'm after? And you might say, yes, it is. And then you might be like, great, that's the product that I want to buy. Now, quick question for you is, hey, what about cash back on this? Well, quite simply, you can select the name of the store. Again, do another search, choose, is it a cash back? And you can search your cash back provider straight away just by that right mouse click search and see if that is on your cash back provider. Really quick, really efficient. And it just allows you to do so much more in so little time. So that is simple select and search. And today, quite simply, what am I going to do? I'm going to show you how to install it. I'm going to show you how to do a really simple search with it. And then finally, I'll show you some more advanced searches, which are going to help you out in your Amazon business to speed up your workflows. So let's get going. OK, so quick question for you is what Chrome extensions do you use that maybe I haven't heard about? So drop it down below, you know, Keeper, FBA Multitool. We talked about that. Helium 10 talked about that. Is there maybe a Chrome extension that you're using that I've not used? So drop it down in the comments below. I'm really interested to see. OK, so first things first, we're going to go through just installing the Chrome extension. Now, I'll drop a link down below, but if you don't want to use the link, we'll do it right now. So come into Google Chrome and search simple. Oh, simple, simple equals select plus search. That is what we're using. Really simple. And then just come on and click install. Obviously, I've got mine installed already. Now, by default, you're going to have a lot of things in there. So it installs just up here on the Chrome extension, on the Chrome browser window. Right mouse click, click options. OK, and by default, it's going to have some pre-installed ones. For me, I pretty much just remove them. Now, really simply, what does it do? It allows you to create menus and submenus. So say, for example, when I'm in my uh, right mouse click, let's say, for example, now if I come back to this product, when I right mouse click, I can here have, I can have all the search options, but I can actually have more sub menus in there. So I might have a whole string of searches that I want to do for like searching certain suppliers, certain other things which are quite interesting. But quite simply, you can just have a list of the top URL that you're searching, whereby you are transferring data. Now, this is it installed, really simple and easy to use. The one thing I do like as well is maybe you've got a team, maybe you've got a team of VAs, you can actually export and import all these pre-built searches that you built on this 
um, simple select plus search that you can transfer to them and they can add a new one and transfer it back to you. And it's just gonna help you share that really easily. So how does it work really? Well, quite simply, what it does is it takes whatever you're selecting highlighting and then it will basically add that into the URL, which is the address bar at the top with some pre-filled text. So say for example here, when I did that top cashback one where I searched the word boots to see if it was a supplier on top cashback. And I'll show you again now. So if I had here, I've highlighted boots, right mouse click search and then hit top cashback. What's it done? It's basically just taken up here, top cashback, search merchants, question mark, S equals boots. So it's taken the, the boots I've highlighted, put it into URL, and as a result, I can see the top cashback is gonna deliver that result. That's what it does. Now let's go through about how we set that up. So this is really easy, like really, really super simple. So quite simply, you're gonna come in and let's say for example, if you're gonna do that again, you just click add, add in a new line. You're going to have a look at the, the URL that you want to search. Whenever you're searching on the web, always just have a look at the address bar at the top. What you're probably gonna notice is that as you search, it, what you've just searched for is gonna show up in the address bar. Why? That's how a lot of tools communicate with each other across the internet. And if you understand that, you can then start using that to advantage to speed up your workflows using this Chrome extension. Maybe for example, we just search boots. If I come here to top cashback and I type in boots, for example, what you're gonna see is that it actually just shows up boots there. If I type in, I don't know, maybe fast track FBA, and if I search that into top cashback, Obviously, we're not on top cashback as a company, but you can see how that shows up in the search bar. So understanding the way that works means that now you can automatically put some other text in there that you want by creating this right mouse click, simple select and search. So for us, what we've identified here is that the fast track FBA or the text that gets searched is in, at the end. And then before that is what it needs to start the actual you say, query to run the website. So what we're gonna do is understand that we're going to take this first bit, which is the, the URL of the product of the website and the search start and start the search. Come back to our search engine. We're going to literally paste that into here. Voila. And then what we want to do is just put a percentage and an S sign. And what does that mean? That tells the Chrome extension, this is where you insert the, the highlighted text that you search. So S or percentage and S. And then we're going to type in here, maybe like my test one, and then click S or click enter. Nice and simple. Let's come back to uh, any old page. Right now, I might just click on results, right mouse click search. And we've got our test one there, search test. And you can see it's got merchant equals S results and it's searched for results. So that is how it's set up really simply. And my top tip for you, always be looking at that search bar, be looking at the way the the website working and if you understand that then you can start hacking it and start making it quicker for you and using this tool that's going to help you. So the third bit which I want to talk about is about more advanced. So what can you do which is a bit more advanced that's going to help you? So you probably noticed when I first started I did a right mouse click Google search. Now anyone can do a Google search. Chrome's got it built in, it works really well. There's a couple of like hacks that you can add to a Google Chrome or Google search query that's gonna probably filter some of the results and get you where you want to be better. So quite simply, if I just go back to a Google Chrome search, or just type in a new page. One thing, if I just type in anything random. So if I literally type in, I don't know, uh, boots, for example, we've loaded up boots. Now what I can do is click on settings, advanced search. And if you wanna just scroll down, you can see here, use operators in the search box. Now, one of the operators that I use a lot in my, my, search, my sourcing is quite here. They talk about put a dollar sign in front of something if you want to find a set price, but we appreciate that the price isn't going to be a set price, but we want a range. So here we can put a dot, dot, dot. So what you might notice is that when I do my searching within Google, what am I looking at? Well, when I search, let's say for example, what have I put in there? I put in one pound dot, 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 100. Why? Because I'm looking for the Google search results whereby it has that one pound to 100 pounds price in the result. Why? Because they are probably gonna be the pages that are gonna buy. Now, quite simply, this is one element you can do, but you can go even further. 
There are some people who I know who do some really advanced stuff with things like Google custom search engines. So what you might do is you might take your top 20, 30, 40 stores that you source from pretty much consistently, build your own Google custom search engine. And I won't go into that today. And then basically run all your queries, not through normal Google, but through your own Google custom search engine. And as a result, you're always checking for those stores to see what, which products you can buy from those stores that you're already buying from. Number one, that can help you with replenishables because you're just going to identify products that are being sold by your existing suppliers. And maybe they might be out of stock now, but you're going to be able to build them. But number two, it's just going to make you work faster. Why? Because you're going to be trimming out a lot of the results that you get in Google, whereby you're having to filter through them. Now you're just looking at the top stores, which deliver great deals. So using something like this, simple select and search, with some basic filters within your query, it's gonna speed you up. But number two, you can take it even to the next level, custom search engines, which are gonna really change the way you do your sourcing. But a free tool like this is very, very powerful. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that, and hopefully that has been some next level information that is gonna really help speed up what you are doing day to day. If you have, hit the like button, drop me a comment down below. Maybe there's something that you want me to go into more detail. Obviously, I'm more than happy to let you know. But from me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.